folks, welcome back to another episode of Ranch Rehab. Welcome back. And today we got a great project for you yes. guys. Yeah, so we're gonna restore this awesome high wheel push cultivator. cultivator. Right, you walk behind, you push it. It's so and, cool. Yeah, I mean, it's really neat because normally this thing would be sitting out as a as an ornament in the yard, right? Exactly. But we're gonna get it, put it together, and uh, make it functional. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's do it. All right, folks. So here it is. I mean, it was an, a lawn ornament for years, right? Exactly. Now it's time to resurrect it. Yeah. Make it functional. Yeah, we're gonna bring it back to its former glory. Bring it back to its former glory. Yeah. There's different types of attachments that you could add on to here. So, yes. and it's simple. Once it's time for that, uh, we're gonna just take this off here, remove it, put the attachment on, whether it be the furrow blade, the mold board blade or the five times. Ooh, one, one thing I'm gonna have to do though, oh. after you get done uh -huh. uh, hitting that with the brush, I'm gonna have to take the saws off. Yeah, some and, of these uh, are just rusted. Right like I got most of these off, but that one yeah. I need your help with because no it is so, it is so I'm stuck. I'm gonna hack that one off. I specialize in cutting things off. Right? Okay, good job. Nice, we did it. Okay. All right, folks, time to don the nerd glasses. So when you get older, you just got to do it. You know what I mean? Your eyes fail you for some reason. Anyway, so here's where the holes go, right? And I just need to match them up with this new handle that we have here. And Jenny marked those holes. Let's see. That's there, there, and th that's perfect. So what we did is today we went over to Lowe's and we scored some nuts and bolts and washers, some quarter inch, let's see. Yeah, there we go right there. Full thread, hex bolt, stainless, quarter inch by 20 times, whatever. I'm not a really technical guy. It's kind of wing it sometimes, so. Let's see here. Nice, nice. So what I need to do is get the right drill bit. I scored some drill bits too. At your friendly neighborhood Lowe's. Is that gonna be the, I think that's gonna be the right size there. Perfect. We're gonna go with it. I'm just gonna hit them real quick. Nothing fancy. Kind of prep them a bit to be stained. All right, so Jenny determined that it was too windy out there. It's too windy. It's coming from Michigan where there's high winds and all kinds of stuff. It's too windy out here to paint apparently. To spray paint. Whatever. Spray paint. Anyways. Okay, we'll get the saw horses in here. Sometimes, folks. The weather? You just causes. gotta improvise. Exactly. Flexibility. Adapt and overcome. Okay. All that good crap. Look at this. Look at my hand. It's, I am gonna have to get a glove or something, because this is horrible. It is. This is literally. Look at it. These tops are this is terrible. Look at that. It, every garbage. time I've used that paint, it does the same thing. You gotta be kidding me! How do no. they even? How how can? How these can they even sell, sell a this project? Crap? I don't know. Oh, this is gonna look so rustic and wonderful. I'm liking it. Like it's very natural looking, and you can see all the grains. It's beautiful. And the contrast between the wood and the the black. Ooh, this wheel is 
gonna be amazing. Contrasting colors. Okay, I bought some of that stuff for grill, like high heat Rust-Oleum for your grill. Uh huh. And it's the same deal. It's and they're, I bought this textured kind for like pots or something. Mm -hmm. Same deal. Really? Yeah. It made a mess. Yes. It was very drippy and not good. Look, garbage. Let's go over here and bother Jenny a bit. Good. You are doing a masterful job. Take a look at this. It's not. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's great. Okay, Jennifer. So we got our wheel here. I know it's so and it, pretty. And it's pretty much dry. It's dry enough. All right. So we get a nice selfie of our. Wait a minute. That's that's, that's not, not us. Yeah. Look. Aww. So one of the things you want to do anytime you work on a project, especially if you're going to restore an item, take some pictures before you take it apart. So basically, we've got our handles. We've got this, this piece that goes in between, and it's gonna sit just like that. So I think what we'll do first is we'll, we'll attach the handles. So we got our quarter inch bolts here. Wow, this is looking great. It's just, it's so pretty. Like I am. You did a great job. Yeah. It's... How stoked are you? I love this thing. It's beautiful. I can't tell you how happy I am. It came out so good. This will be functional, beautiful, and it just takes it back to its former glory. So with that being said, yeah, I'm pumped. It's Come on, Jennifer, before you hurt yourself. <laughs> jump, jump. <laughs> Folks, thank you for stopping back once again. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate you guys. We do. Look at it, we got a little bit. I know, we're all roughed up. up here. I know, I need some gasoline, light it on fire to. What? No, that's not how you change. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we had a great time. Yes. We had a great project today. I know, it's so exciting to restore things to their former glory. It's true. So, tune in once again. Yes. And uh, see what else we have. In the meantime, let's go get warm. Yeah, let's get warm. <laughs> oh my God, you squeezed my stuffing out of me. <laughs>